Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily crypto market update and we will figure out is it still bearish trend, what's going on with the crypto world on a daily time frame, please subscribe for YouTube channel, click like button to support the channel, I really appreciate all your efforts, let's move to trading view. Trading view, crypto heat map, let's start from it, it's for all coins and based on the daily performance and based on the market cap. Market cap looks like yeah some gray, a lot of green already. It's kind of positive trend direction. Positive trend direction, less red, and more green. Okay, let's move to chart charts and let's do technical review. Before we start to do technical review, uh, let me briefly mention about the setup and just. If you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to, to the description. There is the link about trading view setup, training and other links about all my trainings. So you can easy and quickly learn it. I'm using moving averages. White line is SMA 200, yellow line is SMA 20, red line is SMA 10, and green line is SMA 5. Also, buy and sell script indicator. MACD indicator green line bullish red line bearish and white light signal line Heikonaichi indicator red bars bearish green bars bullish RSI indicator yellow line that's all very simple it's not easy because every trader has emotions but if you tr if you follow the indicators you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions just follow the market trend and you see simple trading style is very simple, right? Because when when bar above MA5, above green line, it is bullish. And MA5 above 10 and 20, it is bullish, right? When bar MA5 and 10 below 20, it is bearish. That's how it works. When it's below 20, it is bearish. When it's above 20, it is bullish. As of now, look at that MA5. Last bar below MA5, 10 and 20 on daily time frame. It is bearish trend. MACD red, bearish, Heikonaichi red, RSI below Heikonaichi. All indicators and especially MACD and Heikonaichi and RSI below zero line. Bearish trend direction on all indicators and sell signal from the script. Nothing changed since yesterday. Let's move, let's move to four hours time frame. For our time frame, it's changed to bullish signal. MA5, you see MA5 yellow line above 10. It is positive, but today, last two bars, they move about 20. About 20, it is more positive. Positive signal, MACD, green positive, Heikonaichi, RSI, bullish positive. For our time frame, it is positive, bullish. But remember, still all moving averages below 200, 200 downtrend, it is still bearish trend, it's a bearish territory, bearish location. MACD below zero line in the bearish location also. But trend is positive on 4 hours time frame. And for swing trading, I'm using 4 hours or daily time frame for entry and exit position. 1 hour time frame, it is bullish, buy signal, MA5 above MA5, 10 and 20, it is bullish, MACD bullish, RSI, Heikonaichi, all indicators bullish on 1 hour time frame. Still below 200, still in the bearish territory, but signal is bullish. Now let's move to Ethereum. Let's start Ethereum daily. Ethereum daily. Sell signal from the script. MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20. Last bar below, all moving below 5, 10 and 20 lines. It is bearish trend. MACD red bearish, Heikonaichi red bearish. Are assigned very oversold territory. Trend is bearish on daily time frame. And RSI oversold. For hours time frame. It's trying to change direction. It's kind of flat for several days. Still sell signal from the script. MA5 still below 10. It is still negative, but last bar moved about 5 and 10. No, no bullish confirmation yet from, from moving averages. 
MACD Green Bullish High Connection RSI Bullish Crossover. We need a moving averages to MA5 to do bullish crossover over 10. So far it's not done yet. But signal is positive, but remember all indicators in the bearish territory below zero line and below 200. One hour time frame for Ethereum, it is flat, you see flat, one hour for several days. Signal is bullish, buy signal from the script, MA5 did bullish crossover over 5, 10 and 20. It's about 20. Bullish signal, MACD bullish, high connection, RSI, all indicators bullish. But territory below 200, it is still bearish. But signal is bullish on one hour time frame. Uh, Bitcoin cash. Bitcoin cash, let's start one hour time frame. It is also positive bullish on all indicators. Even on RSI, it's in the overbought bad state. It's overbought state on RSI, yellow line. Bullish signal trend the same. On the moving average, it's still below 200. Don't ignore it. It's positive, but below 200. For our time frame, MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and buy signal from the screen, the last bar about 20. MACD bullish, high connection RSI. All indicators bullish, bullish reversal signal on, one, on 4 hours time frame. For Bitcoin cash, still all, yeah, all position in the bearish territory. On MACD below zero line, all in the bearish territory. But signal is bullish. Daily time frame, Bitcoin cash. Also negative, it's all moving averages below 200. It is bearish territory. You see, it started from here, from May 10. In bearish territory. MACD is still bearish. Uh, yeah, this line was destroyed. RSI also was destroyed. Not RSI, I'm sorry. Not RSI divergence was destroyed. It was oversold, but it did bounce. Still bearish, still bearish on daily time frame for Bitcoin Cash. Still bearish. Let's move to Ethereum Classic, right? Ethereum Classic daily time frame. Last three bars, it's kind of flat, but below all moving averages and and MA5, 10 and 20 below 200. It is bearish, MACD bearish, RSI, Heikonachi bearish, RSI in very oversold territory, still there. Definitely wants to have some bounce. For our time frame, it did have some bounce from oversold state, and MA5 did bullish crossover over 10. It is positive signal, but it's still below 20, still, still very weak. MACD green bullish, Heikonachi bullish, RSI bullish crossover. Positive signal, but it's very weak in the territory and position very weak because it's below 200. MACD below zero line, all in the weak territory, but signal is positive. One hour time frame, it is flat. You see for several days it's flat. Buy signal. Recently. MA5 last bar moved above MA20. It is positive. At least it's positive. It's positive in the bearish territory below 200. MACD green flat, RSI all flat. It's kind of flat with positive signal. Flat with positive signal for Ethereum Classic. Now let's move to what's going on. Cardano ADA. Cardano ADA daily time frame. Kind of similar for last few days is a flat. The last bar above my 20, it is positive. MACD flat, RSI, all flat, no price action. Same price action for last couple days. Still positive, about 20, that's good, that's positive. 
All, all indicators green is positive but below, still below 200 and 200 downtrend. Still positive trend on one hour time frame. Four hours time frame, it is also positive. It was very oversold here from June 10 and it did bounce. MA5 did bullish crossover, buy signal from the script, still buy signal. Last bar above MA5 and 10, still below 20. It is still kind of weak, positive, but it is weak and special, it's below 200. Still very weak. MACD green bullish, Haikanachi, RSI bullish. It's a positive bullish signal, but still weak. Remember, it can easy to continue to go bearish because it's below 20. It can be rejected from 20. 20 is strong resistant. Daily time frame. Daily time frame, you see, it was very oversold. Still very oversold on RSI. Still negative on all indicators. Especially MA5, 10, 20 did bearish crossover over 200. It is bearish trend, but the last bar still disconnected from 20. It definitely wants to have bounce and connect back to 20. Okay, let's move to Binance. Binance daily time frame. Similar, similar state. MA20 bearish crossover, bearish trend. Last couple, uh, last two days, it's flat price action. Last bar disconnected from 20, it's in a negative territory below all moving averages. Definitely wants to have bounce because it's oversold and disconnected from 20. Wants to have bounce, but trend is bearish on daily time frame. Four hours time frame. MA5 did bullish crossover over 10. It, it is bullish crossover, but still below 20. Below 20, you see it always. It can touch 20 and, and reject it. Move above 10, close to 20 and reject it and reject it. And still continue to go down. But now looks like it, yeah, it's kind of 20 is kind of getting flat. Looks like it wants to do bullish crossover over 20. Bullish signal, but not strong because, like I said, it's below, last bar still below 20. And it's a bearish territory because it's below 200, below 20, very weak. One hour time frame. One hour time frame is more positive by signal MA5. Did bullish crossover over 10 and 20, last bar above 5, 10 and 20. It is positive. Positive territory is still negative below because, because to, below 200, but signal is positive. MACD green bullish, Haikanachi RSI bullish. That's all. That's all. Let's do summary. Let's do conclusion as usually. Like I mentioned, on one hour time frame, it is bullish uh, reversal signal on one hour and four hours time frame for all cryptos from my watch list but remember they still all, all in the bearish territory below 200 below zero line on MACD but signal is bullish on daily time frame they still all very negative very bearish and uh, all of them except Bitcoin they uh, they all in the oversold territory on RSI. Bearish with oversold in the, on RSI. It means crypto still wants to have some bounce. It wants to have some correction. But on shorter time frame, yeah, it, it is positive. It's it bullish reversal, but still in the bearish territory and it can easily continue to go bearish. Like here you see, it did bullish and came back to bearish, bullish, came back to bearish, bullish, it can come back to bearish. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational informational purposes only. And remember, for educational purposes, we are using paper trading account. Thank you for watching Simple Trading Style. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes and cryptos. Please subscribe for YouTube channel, click like button to support the channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.